Welcome to the Exploring the Bible channel. Today we're going to take a look at eSword running on a Mac. We set this up on the Mac in a previous video titled uh, Installing eSword on Mac OS. And uh, hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at that. And today we're going to look around at the uh, installation that we created. But let's get started. So here we have uh, eSword running on a Mac as we set it up in the previous uh, video. Um, you'll see that we have ESV, we have an ESV Plus, and King James, and King James Plus. Um, the ESV Plus shows up for some reason after you close uh, eSword and then open it back up. But what the ESV Plus is, is basically the ESV with references. And so you can come in here and see God so love reference nine. And he says, see chapter one, verse 29. So he's got some more to say about that in a previous place. Um, so he's got other references here. Um, so you can kind of look around at the different references. So he, this is references that ESV provides. Um, so that's what's extra. That's the plus here as you get those references. In King James, when we go to the plus, what we're getting is strong dictionary numbers, okay? So, um, so you can look at the Greek uh, word that was translated here. So love, that's the interesting one, agapo. Uh, agapeo, however you pronounce that. Agapao, it tells you right here how to pronounce it. And then the uh, definition of it. So, uh, so that's... Uh, that's a good uh, a good tool, but we we've got that. Um, what we don't have is one of the purchased uh, Bibles. Now I want to uh, install a purchased Bible, so uh, I've our, I've previously purchased this one, and so I'm going to go and install it just to show you how that would be done. Go to Resources, Download, scroll down to the purchased Bible, New International Version. I'm going to say download. It'll come up. Uh, this is the email address I used when I purchased the Bible. And here is the product key that I was that they emailed back to me. And when I click validate, it determines that's a valid key and it installed the new international version. So now I cancel out of that because uh, it's already installed. And there it is, new international version. Now, if I exit from uh, eSword and come back in, we're going to see yet another one. So I'm going to go to eSword Quit. And then I'm going to relaunch eSword. And I will see the new International Readers version also. We have both of those. New International Read Readers version is just a, a, a more elementary uh, translation. It uses more elementary English. It might be something you would use for a, someone who is uh, English as their second language, for example. But, uh, but at any rate, you get both of those from the, from the NIV. Uh, NIV is one of the more expensive ones for the download, but I've had this one for years. Well, that's what I decided I wanted to download. So anyway, you can uh, add purchased versions like that. And if you did not have the key, you could go, if you could at that point in the uh, process, go to their website to purchase a key. And then they would give you a key in your email, and then you would be able to complete the installation. Yeah, I want to talk about the editors a little bit. Um, if you look on at the bottom of the screen, you see right now I've got journal highlighted. Journal notes are for basically a note each day. You can do a note for today, a note for tomorrow, and you can go on forever, basically a year after year. It continues in the calendar. But uh, I can make a note here and say this is a note for Sept 29 20. Okay, and I'll hit the Command key S which is save in, uh, in a Mac, and that will save that journal note. And that will be saved for today. Now I can go to different dates. Okay, okay, say 
This is a note for set 28. 20. Command S, okay? So that saves that. So I now can, of course, it defaults to today's, and I go back, and there's my note for today. Okay, so you can just basically do a note for every day. That's journal notes. Let's look at study notes. Study notes are notes on a particular verse of the Bible. So right now, here is John 3.12. So I can say here, uh, this is my comment on John 3.12. Twelve. I am referencing John the sixteen or whatever I want to reference in this comment. Okay, so what you can do with these uh, references is highlight them, and you can do format tooltip reference would also be, it says there, command key J. I'm going to make that a tooltip reference. And I'm going to come in here and try that one with command key J. Okay. So now I can say, show me John 316, and it'll pop it up. Say, show me that. And so those are, those are hot links to the verses. Yeah, I can include references to anything in the Bible. I can do this in journal notes as well, right? This is just to show you how the, uh, how the links work. But basically, this is all a, a note on John 3.12. So I'm going to do a uh, command key S to save that. And now you see I have a little note icon here. I can click and pop it up, okay? Um, I can go to a different verse, John 3.13, and sync. Yeah, I go up here to the top right to this sync button, and now it takes me to the note for John 3.13. Say, this is my note or, or comment. I'm going to call it a comment. I'm doing a commentary for John 3.13. Okay, and, and again, you can think that you don't have to do what I'm doing here, but I'm going to say Command J. And that gave me a link. So now I can uh, do Command S, and it saves that. And so here is my uh, link for John 3.13. And of course, I can go back to my earlier one, and it's right here, right? So this is how you make a commentary. Basically, it's a, so the study notes are a comment on a verse in the Bible, and they stay connected to that verse of the Bible. You come back to that next week, you'll have your comment, you can add to it, okay, in John 3.13, okay? The third thing you can do is topic notes. And topic notes, basically, uh, you give it a title. So you might want to say, I'm going to have a topic note on love, okay? And that's going to be the name of this topic note. And then what I'm going to do is go to John 3.16. I'm going to say John 3.16 speaks of love. Okay. And I can J. There it is. So, so I can also say, you know, I can put there are other verses as well. <laughs> and then I can say command S. And now I have saved that topic note. Um, so, so these are this is the way you can use these notes to uh, you can go back to your comment for John three thirteen, go back to your journal note for today, and so different ways of taking notes. Um, what I do in eSword, of course, I'm using it on a Windows laptop in services. I will have a uh, I make a topic note, but I give it the date of today. And maybe I'll say this is September the 27th, 2020, Sunday service. And then I'll take my notes about the sermon there, okay? And then I'll save it. I might have an afternoon meeting where it'll be September 27th, 2020, uh, meeting notes. And then I'll take my notes there. So I'll have different topics by title. Uh, so 
at any rate, uh, you can uh, you can make use of that however you want. You could do a study on love. You could do a study on baptism, study on revelation. You could do a study on whatever you want uh, and, and save it in the uh, topic notes. So that's journal notes, study notes, and topic notes. Uh, all of them right there uh, at your fingertips. That should give you a good start on uh, playing with the uh, eSword application on a Mac. Uh, don't be afraid to try things out, peek under the menus to see what's there, uh, click on a few things, try different Bibles and compares and uh, parallel and all the different things that you see on the screen and uh, just get familiar with how to move around in it and uh, what's, what's under the covers in different parts of the application. Uh, we will be uh, doing some individual uh, research topics together just to, to use it and to, uh, to try it out. There's pretty much the same capabilities in Mac that there are in Windows, and, uh, and we, will, uh, we will be helping you through that as we go. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, enjoy, and uh, we will uh, reconvene here soon. Thank you.